Shane Van Boning, a lot depends on your performance out there. Your countrymen, all the fans in the U United States of America, they're Thank looking you to time. you to right the ship. Race to five, you up to break. Yeah, he had one shining moment yesterday. Other than that, Shane has been a bit under his normal game speed. We'll see if he can find his game this match. Wing ball straight in. No friends on the one. No, he's going to have to go rail first to hit this ball. The eight ball went right into the corner pocket. The two flew into the side. So there's only seven left out there. Yeah, there may be some value in the kick here, Jerry. If he can dig into that cue ball, he may he may just roll it forward. He's kicking at it. Try and hold that cue ball behind the three. No, he didn't catch it flush. So a chance for Ben Boning. This is what you're looking for. A position mistake from your opponent. It gives you an open shot. Here you take another look. He wanted that cue ball to squat behind the three. And instead, it came marching out into the middle of the table. Extension call. Shane has accounted for three of America's five points to this juncture in the Moscone Cup. So much is expected of him every year. He's going to try and draw this ball up behind the six ball off of that rail. And we have shot on a three. And this table is just out there for the taking now. Should be a very quick rack. In Shane's only singles match to this point in day one, he lost 5-1 to Darren Appleton. Appleton owns Van Boning in the Moscone Cup. Very few can say that. But Shane's pretty happy he's not playing Darren Appleton. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. Would have liked to have been a little straighter on this, but no harm. Six into the corner. Now he just needs to bring the cue ball back out anywhere around center table for an easy shot on the nine. Kind of a trademark Van Boning rack, though. Rifles through him effortlessly and never in trouble. Van Boning takes the first mark. Leads one to nothing in our race to five. Crowd is encouraging Shane. They know how bad America needs this match. There's Pat Fleming, good friend of mine. Hall of Famer. The originator of Accustat video productions and Leading he one was the one that nil. brought statistical Settle information quickly, to the four in the world of pool. Shane's made a ball and he's going to have a shot on the one. Yeah, another look, Jerry. That two going down helps him because the three in close proximity to the one. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a crowd down here on the foot end of the table. So getting from the four to the five is going to be a critical shot. Yeah, as close as he is to this three, he can make that cue ball do whatever he wants. This is the key shot right here. Shane has to leave an angle 
from the four to the five because the four doesn't pass to the bottom right. I don't know what he's, that's, I don't know what he was thinking. He's a little straighter than he would ideally like. Yeah, now you've got to worry about that nine ball getting in the way of the next shot. Extension call. Shane's using his extension. He wants to take a long look at this. He's really got to make this cue ball dance to get shape on that five. Oh, he's going to try and draw into shape. This is going to take a super stroke. And that pocket killed the cue ball. He just left himself too straight. Yep. Yeah, he was trying to pull it off the two cushions, Jerry, with all that side spin. But now he's got to find a place to hide. Oh, and he's jacked up. Doesn't have anything but the top of the cue ball with which to work. Needs the six to put the cue ball back on the rag. He's done that. Could have been a lot worse. A long shot for Fayen, but all he's got to do is make it because the six ball is sitting right down here over the corner pocket. Yeah, a very tough shot on this five and only the top end of the cue ball exposed. Wow, what a steady shot from Fayen. <laughs> solid, solid shot making. And that was a good shot, too. Oh, he had yeah. to dig into the cue ball, delivered it sweetly through that white. He's going to punish Van Boning. Indeed, neither man has won off of his own break as yet. Nine ball down. We're tied at one. It will be Fayen's break coming up in the next game. Welcome back to Vegas for the penultimate match on day three of the Moscone Cup. It's Shane Van Boning against Niels Fayen, all level after the opening two racks, as Europe look to extend their lead and the USA limit their losses. This is now the third. But the pressure is on Van Boning. Given the 8-5 score in favor of Europe. Well, he's very disappointed in that last effort, but he's got to put that out of his mind now. Still lots of pool to play here. You up to break? 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Nothing down that I heard. The three ball looks like it's going to fall. It does. And he's got a shot at the one in the side pocket. Boy, that three ball had to carry him off of two other balls to find that pocket. Not real easy to get shape on the two ball. No, I'm wondering if Niels isn't going to try and draw away from contacting those colors. 
then he has to worry about the eight ball getting in his way. No, well, he's using the four. He'll settle for the longer shot. He's put the four ball in a great position, though. So all he has to do is concentrate on making the two. The three's already gone. Oh, man who's very confident in his shot making ability, leaving a tricky two. Extension call. He's a former world champion, fine. Yeah, he might have fluked this. Yes, indeed. That's gone. And that hurts. Well, that happened for America earlier today. So they just got paid back. Yeah, that hurts. Big time. Quiet, please. He missed the pocket he was intending to hit badly. But that other corner certainly welcomed that ball in. Five into the corner. Cue ball out to the middle of the table and the six ball is patiently waiting. Didn't really hit that one clean either, though. Very unlike Fine. He normally doesn't flirt with those cushions. Three easy ones left. Can they be easy enough? <laughs> I didn't know there was such a thing as an easy shot in the Moscone Cup. Well, some easier than others. Nine ball is down. Niels Fayen now is taking the last two racks. And he leads our match two to one, and we've got some happy fans in the audience. Here it is. Missed the two, never even threatened the intended pocket. But yeah, it always looked like it was headed into this one. Yeah, you knew it as soon as it came off the second rail, that ball was gone. shaking his head. The American crowd trying to throw some spirit out there for Van Boney. A little inspection of the rack. Okay, rack four. USA to break. Trading one rack to two. This seems the favored side to avail balls from the break. He's made the one. He has the two. Yeah. He, and if he wonder. cuts it, if he cuts it, that nine ball is going to be rolling. Remember yesterday? Well, I'll tell you what. He's got a similar look, Jerry. He'll have a look at this, I think. I yeah. don't know whether the two goes into the corner. You knew Shane was going to go at that after the shot he made please. yesterday to close out day two. That was always on the cards. Boy, it was a nice solid hit on the nine. It was just off. He actually caught the two thinner than intended on that.
This is the most difficult shot he has left, and it's not all that tough. He just wants to make sure he's got shape on the five so that he can roll up for the six. He's an inch taller on the table than he wished to be, but it doesn't hurt him. Bit of a stretch. Doesn't affect the shot at all. to five, three to one. But he owes that one to Mr. Van Boning. Yes, Shane Van Boning looking at a two, carom to the nine, narrowly missed it. Not happy, but I'll tell you one thing, he knows what it's like to be successful with a shot like that. This closed out last night, and you saw as much emotion from Shane Van Boning and the fans, as you will ever see. Even Mike DeShane had to get into the dance there. Same man, different day. Yep. He's got to lose that negativity. Go out there with a positive attitude. Forget the errors, put all your faith in the future. Rack five. But first, Fagan's got to give up the table. Yeah, he can put another nail in the coffin, though, here, Jerry. A good break. And it'll be a long way home for the South Dakota kid. It's a dry break. It brings Van Bunning to the table, but not with a shot. See, the one ball hits the nose of the side pocket instead of going in. But the one ball is tucked behind the nine. So unless Van Bonin can feather an edge, he's going to be kicking here. You know, it's also interesting, isn't it? You haven't seen any of the Americans come down. They're kind of getting out of Shane's way, Jerry. Yeah, I think they're trying to keep from distracting him so he can just keep his maintain his focus. But that was a push and he's left most of the one ball for Fyan to hit. Van Boning their their leader on the table and they all know it. They admit it. This will be a duck. Oh, but he hasn't covered it, I don't believe. If Van Boning can't hit this ball directly, he can spin into it off of the rail. That's tight, but he's got the rail to work with, so either way, this ball should go down. Nice little stroke there on the two. No problems that I can see, Jerry. None at all. Given that he doesn't make an error, he should slide right through this rack.
Just needs to come back down the same side of the table for the five. The six also on that side of the table. Needs to pop off the rail a little bit. So he's got some angle on the six. That's done. Always sights low on the cue ball. Then he raises it as he delivers it. Tremendous cue power. Yeah, I asked him why he aims so low on the cue ball, so he has a full view of the cue ball. Says it helps him line the shots up better. This to bring Van Boning back within one. Nine ball down. Shane Van Boning now trails by one. Score line is three to two in favor of Fion. The crowd doing their usual celebrations. They're certainly having a great time here. I've never seen this much energy in a crowd. Yeah, this is without a doubt the loudest crowd that I've heard for any Moscone Cup played in America. It's actually not even close. And probably because it's the biggest. Over a thousand in attendance here. Matchroom Sport put tickets on sale months ago. They sold out so soon. And they may even have put in extra seating here because it is a full house. Thank you, Rock Six. <clears throat> USA to break. Trailing two rocks to three. Van Boning with the chance to tie up the match. But the one ball doesn't go. And he has left an easy opening shot for Fayan. Seems to be a fairly frustrating week for Shane. The breaks haven't favored the Americans. We know that. And once again, there's not a lot of trouble on the table that Shane can look to for hope. Got to be a little careful here. He likes to play the combination two into the seven. He's got to judge where the two is going to finish. And that's if he gets the seven. Extension cold. Yeah, he pretty much has to baby this shot. He didn't want to have to play the combination here, Jerry. No, he didn't. And he also has to get the cue ball down where it clears the colors to leave the two available. Well, he's drawing back to stay away from the colors. Touchy shot. That's and it. the two ball fell as well. So now he's got an easy combination off of the three. Yeah, this couldn't really have worked out a lot better. I mean, he hit it so well. Six only available to the bottom left corner. Yeah, that's the only problem left, making the six and making sure the cue ball clears the nine for a shot on the eight ball. And he's got the perfect angle to just roll the cue ball through off two cushions and drop nicely onto the six. Yeah, you have to fear the worst for Van Boning in this one. Try and J 
just float down past that nine ball beautifully done. And this will put Niels Fayan on the hill. Yeah, that's a pretty common phrase when you're talking about European European players. It has been this week. Nine ball down. Niels Fayan leads our match four to two. He only needs to make one more nine ball fall to take this baby home. Shane Van Boning is the face of frustration. Things just can't seem to get rolling for him. Welcome back to Vegas and the Moscone Cup. Shane Van Boning and Niels Fine are fighting for the 14th point in this year's competition. The European ahead by two as we pick up the action in the seventh. Commentary from Jim Weich and Jerry Forsythe. Shane has always been Mr. Reliable. And so many people put their faith in him. And he feels that weight on his shoulders. It's a dry break. Van Boning's got the opportunity. Not a great start, though. That one ball is ugly. Chance, though, to seize the initiative in this rack. Yeah, anytime you're at the table, you're the happier player because at least you can establish control. Safety there from Van Boning. Although he's dropping his stick, there may he may have left an alley. Oh, if he's left a window between the seven and the five here, he's cursed, and he has. Oh my! That's not the result that any player would expect. Extension called. Niels has a problem getting back down for the two ball. Yeah, I'm not sure he can see enough of the one to be able to make it, Jerry. He can definitely hit it. Oh. Tried to bank into the six ball, but he played it as, as a two way shot, and he's gotten a safety out of it. Uh, Shane's coming down to have a look at the 9 2 to see if they offer a combination into the corner because he can play a billiard. If he can get the right edge of the one as he looks and catch the left edge of the nine, he might be able to make the two ball. And it looks like he can. So he may be going at the two here. Extension cold. But again, got to control where the one goes. Yeah, this is tough. Tough shot for Mr. Van Boning. He got the two, got the one as well. Didn't intend that. Well, Ooh. that's not the worst thing that could have happened, Jerry. Yeah. A lot happening with this shot. You got the intended two. Made the one in the corner as well. But where the nine finished, it gives him a chance at a 3-9-6 combination. Again, a lot happening here. And the nine made the it in. Hello, Shane Van Boning. Come on down. This is your 
time. What a shot. What a series of shots. He's still alive. 4-3. Neil's fine, and Europe's still in front in this one. But the Americans have found their voices. I'd have never thought there would have been enough roll on that nine ball left for it to follow into the pocket. You would think it would have stopped right there. But take a look. The nine ball just refuses to stop and keeps rolling right into the pocket for the win. And the celebration. Well, he waited. He was nervously watching the cue ball as it was running around the angles. But what a what a couple shots from Van Boning there. Everything lined up for him. He just had to execute. And now he can bring us to Double Hill. Thank you, Rack 8. And the Americans have USA owned the Hill Hill matches. They've won three out of four. One ball deposited into the side pocket. And a he, shot at the two. A shot at the two. He will be queuing over some balls. That makes it tougher. Well, all he's got to do is make the shot. The three balls in the middle of the table. So he will most likely wind up with a shot on the three. Oh. Intended, intended cannoning the four, Jerry. He missed it. Boy, he is a long way away now from that three ball. Now the three does go into the bottom right corner, that one. That's enough. No, that's enough. If he feels quiet, brave please. enough and confident enough to attack here, he can try and knock that in, pull the cue ball to the left-hand cushion. Jim, he's Spencing already used pulls. his extension. Well, I'm wrong. I thought he'd used his extension. Hmm. Well, good. Well, looks like he's playing safe here. Would have taken a brave man to take that shot on. Now we'll see if Fayen can return the favor and contain Van Boning. Jerry, a more confident Van Boning and maybe different circumstances, different score. I think you might have seen Shane go at that three. Oh, yeah, we've seen him make tougher shots, but nobody wants to make that big mistake. Nice attempt from Niels. Well, Shane's bought himself a chance. Cut into the side pocket. Some traffic to avoid on his shape here. But he clears everything. So it looks like we're going to go to the hill. And Jerry, why would we want it any different? Oh, we wouldn't. <laughs> Nothing more exciting than a one rack finish. Not that we've lacked in excitement this year.
and it will be the fifth Hill Hill match of this Moscone Cup. The crowd might erupt after this nine ball. Indeed, we are at Double Hill. One rack to decide the winner. Shane accepts the congratulations from his friends. Fayen focused on the job at hand. It'll be his break. So he gets the opportunity to control the table first. I think that's exactly what's going through his mind. But a terrific last rack from Shane Van Boning forcing this Hill Hill match. This was actually two racks ago where some of the shot making from Van Boning and how delighted was he to see that nine drop. That kept his hopes alive, got it to 4-3. He's brought it to 4-4. Four, four. Thank you, final rack. Year after break. Be quiet, please. To see if America can pull one back to 8 6, or will it go 9 5? To 9 into the side. How about that? A golden break, and the timing of it couldn't be better. Neil's flying, and Europe chance at the table. Unbelievable turn of events here at the Tropicana. 9-5 now, Europe in front. That's our first golden break of the week. And it couldn't have come at a more critical moment for both sides. Jerry, but that nine flew into the side pocket. Yep. I want to see another look. I want to see if it got kicked in. Yep, kicked into the side pocket. You can't legislate for that. That's just luck, and it happens in nine ball all the time. 